Hello, Scott here, and welcome to yet another completely unprofessional unboxing. And it's been a while since I've done one of these. I've uh, been a little busy uh, as of late, you know, not only with things in my personal life, but uh, also with things going on with, um, you know, the Titter Pigs podcast. We just did another one. It's been a while since we did one of those. And uh, we've got some other things coming up with Titter Pigs. Uh, we've been booking some new guests on, um, coming up with new topics and things to, uh, to discuss. And likewise, maybe a couple new additions coming on to uh, what we might be going with the uh, with the podcast. And also, uh, I have been relatively busy uh, doing this silly little uh, task that I've thrust upon myself uh, for this month. Uh, following in the coattails of RPG A Day Month, I've decided to do recommend an RPG, RPG A Day Month. And um, when I first decided to do this, I thought this would be easy. I'll just do a little quick one minute video using YouTube Shorts. Recommend an RPG uh, a day, boom, and get on with, uh, uh, with the uh, other important aspects of the day. Uh, but it turns out <laughs> it's not necessarily uh, the case. And um, yeah, hold on a second. I'm just checking my audio here. Apologies with that. Okay, yes, the audio is good. All right, so, so yeah, so that's been a, a bit of a task. Uh, it's a little bit more involved than I thought it was going to be, uh, but I'm persevering, and I you know intend... Uh, even if I'm making that video and, and uploading it at the stroke of midnight, uh, it still counts. Um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, but yeah, uh, enough with that. We're here to do an unboxing. And uh, the one we have here is a going to be an assortment of, uh, of you know, books inside of here. Uh, there was a, a, a sale at a drive through um, not drive through uh, at Noble Knight, and uh, the books inside of here have been some uh, recommendations uh, that I've been looking at for a while, um, you know, things that people have suggested regarding some questions I had on Twitter, other things that I've been kind of interested in and asked about, and uh, with Noble Knight sale and the wonderful pricing they had for these books, they're, you know, a little bit older, but they're, they're not, you know, set at collector's prices, thankfully, uh, that I was able to pick these up, and they've arrived, so I decided to go through them and, uh, you know, take a look at them. Uh, not going to be spending too much time in these because there's quite a few in here. So I'll just maybe just breeze through each one of them one at a time, just to get a general feel of what they are. So I uh, got my trusty Coleman camping steak, steak knife here, but um, not going to uh, you know use it at this point because uh, this uh, came in and I, my wife thought it was for her. She opened it up and said, "Hey, you know this is not my shit. Get it out of my sight." <laughs> so here we go. All right, let's see here. What do we have? All right. It's a bit heavy. Gonna get that out. No personal information in there. All right. We'll set these down. Get them out of the bubble wrap here. And there we go. All right. Let's see. What do we have first up? Let's see. All right. We'll kind of just take these out one by one. Okay. There we are. All right, first up, we have Fear Itself, uh, a horror game powered by gum sh by the gumshoe system. So I've been taking a bit of a dive uh, in, further into the gumshoe system. Uh, recently played a game on an um, uh, online con uh, run you know, out of the UK and had a very entertaining game of um, uh, the Yellow King. And uh, granted, my experience with gumshoe is not extensive. Uh, I played a couple games of uh, Trail of Cthulhu prior. Um, not necessarily, I wouldn't say that it wasn't my taste, but I just don't think that I've, you know, spent enough time with it and felt that it, I need to give it my due diligence. But, uh, but this piqued my interest because I, I saw it referenced at one point, and if you'd like to see it in play, it's currently um, either a one-shot or a, um, a series of, a, of a, you know, a series of scenarios is being run on Third Floor Wars. Uh, so, you know, head on over to their site on, I believe it's on Twitch or or YouTube and check it out. I think they just started the first game recently, but um, yeah, I mean, this is you know a you know a, another delve to kind of take a look at Gumshoe from a different perspective than the more kind of general you know go play Trail of Cthulhu. So uh, what is it? It's a role-playing game of personal horror. Uh, Fear, Fear itself, second edition, plunges ordinary people into a disturbing contemporary world. Ooh, excuse me, of madness and violence, and and ex, and except that. Uh, inexorably draws them into confrontation with the creatures of the outer black, uh, a realm of alien menace. GMs can recreate all the shudders and shocks of the horror genre at their table, 
whether they use the GM's distinctive mythology, the game's distinctive mythology, God, I can't read, or one of their own choosing. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to, to prattle through these one-minute segments on uh, YouTube Shorts, so um, my ability to, to talk is, uh, has been a bit uh, <laughs> odd as of lately. I find myself being tongue-tied uh, over several things as I'm you know, trying to talk real fast as I get through those things to kind of keep it under 60 seconds. So I'm not used to reading and talking slowly. Uh, powered by the Gumshoe Investigative Role Playing System, yeah. So uh, it includes three scenarios from a one night adventure through a mini series to a full campaign. Excellent, and yeah. So, so yeah. Um, let's see here. What we got here. Yep. I mean, it doesn't look too overly dense. Uh, decent layout. You know, decent font for these aging eyes. This doesn't look like it's going to be a complicated read uh, for the most part. So being somewhat familiar with the gumshoe system will obviously help with that. All right. So, yeah, this is definitely something I'm going to check out. You know, with the Halloween season upon us, can't have enough horror at your disposal. All right. Next up, what do we have here? We have Harn World. So sometime back, I, you know, started looking further into Harn World and, um, asking around, you know, where's a good place to start? You know, what's, what do I need? What do I don't need? And, uh, you know, got a wonderful amount of advice from very knowledgeable people who obviously love the game. And um, at, I did pick up the third edition, I believe it is, the most recent edition of Harn World. It's still in the box. I haven't got to it yet. Uh, but a lot of recommendations came to pick up this, um, this Billfold edition of second edition. Um, you know, I'll find out, you know, hopefully, you know, why that was their preference, but uh, so what is what is Harn World? So so Harn World is a realistic medieval environment for fantasy gaming using any rule system. Yes, yeah, so it's it's system agnostic. It's just a setting. Uh, you can now create and plan your own quests and adventures uh, within a complex and detailed fantasy background. Harn World was supported by in its outstanding series of expansion modules. Quality, detail, and consistency are evident on every page. Nothing else publishes better. Come to Harn where the fantasy is real. So yeah. One of the things that drew me to Harn is, is uh, I, I'm a big fan of games that have a rich, uh, diverse, you know, dense uh, world. Uh, you know, the the immersion of it. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, it helps that it's been around for a long time to kind of uh, build up upon itself. Uh, things such as Glorantha, uh, Tecumel, and such. And and Harn world, uh, you know, Harn falls under that uh, that umbrella. So that's kind of piqued my interest. And um, so yeah, so what do you got in here? You have two books. You have Harn World and Harn Dex. And what else do we have? We have a, let's see here, whoops, everything's functioning. Yeah, OBS has been acting a little weird lately, so I'm just kind of, you know, you see my eyes go cross-eyed. I'm just looking at it over here in the corner to make sure it's still functioning and recording. Um, let's see, we have a little, some smaller maps here. Wow, these are beautiful. Um, and then we have the, the large map itself, which looks virtually unused. Uh, when was this published? We have a date here, 1990. So, wow, excellent shape. Uh, yeah, this. Let's, let's just kind of open this up briefly here and take a look at it. Um, you know, as, as mentioned here on the channel before, uh, I am a map aficionado. You can't beat a good map uh, with any role-playing game, and this definitely looks like it's one of those. Wow. See, things like this I can sit and just stare at uh, for a large amount of time and just kind of just soak up all the details of a, a well-detailed and drawn RPG map. Beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, so that is Harn. So, yeah, it's system agnostic. And um, so, yeah, you can play this. You, you can use this or, um, you know, the newer version uh, with any systems or with any, with any system at your disposal. It's Harn Master uh, that uh, has its own set of rules, you know, uh, utilized and created specifically for use with Harn World. So, you know, you can experience it using that. Or if you want to get, you know, the full experience, you would pick up both. But for now, uh, just want to spend some time with the world and see if it's something that, uh, you know, I'd want to delve into further and maybe utilize its own system when I decide to do so. All right. So next up, what do we have here? The book of unrelenting horror gumshoe version so yeah um 
a uh, you know another one from uh, Pelgrim Press utilizing Gumshoe. Uh, further delving deeper into it, I, I had asked a question some time ago on Twitter. Uh, what was their favorite uh, bestiary? And this one came up a few times. So I figured since I'm kind of taking uh, the plunge into Gumshoe, why not get a bestiary to go with it? Uh, this is one that. Um, Looks like was designed initially for esoteria, esoterists, but I mean it's a bestiary, and you know if, as long as the you know the system that you're it's made for can you know be utilized elsewhere, you know mix and match. That's 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 you know that's what it's good for. Let's see, creatures, players in horror games are a little too accustomed to the cre to the creatures their characters face. Very true. Even the most eldritch of tentacular ten, ten, <laughs> tentacular. Horrors is less intimidating when you know exactly what it is because your PC has faced it now before. New times demand new nightmares. So this, therefore, is a book of horrors, not a manual of monsters. The horrors are night, night, nightmarishly intimate. Let me get some water here. Often created from human vice or let loose by human greed. They show us the ugliness that underlies reality. They are the crawling things under the rock of everyday sane world. Consequently, we've detailed our creatures in depth. Excellent. So, and of course, you know, there better be some good artwork in here. And it looks like there is horrific, horrific artwork. This should coincide with the description of what's inside the book. And it seems like it has accomplished that. So, yeah. Um, fantastic. And I believe there was also a D20 version of this. But, you know, as mentioned, uh, checking out Gumshoe further. Decided to go with this one. Looks like there's a either an adventure or two in the back, which is just a plus. Best dairy and an adventure. That's that's a win-win scenario. So yeah, uh, book of unremitting horror. You know, check it out if you need more nightmares <laughs> to fuel your your horror game or throw a curveball into uh, any other gumshoe game that you're playing. All right. So next up. Witch Hunter, The Invisible World. So this is another one that I discovered by accident. Uh, I, you know, I am a fan of this particular genre, the uh, Solomon Kane, the um, the Warhammer, you know, Witch Hunter of old. You know, the the uh, uh, the 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 self important man of you know, holy man of God out there fighting horrors to remove them from the plane of existence, but ultimately ending up, you know being worse <laughs> than the creatures that they're that they're trying to destroy or somewhat worse but uh you know a means to an end um so yeah this is uh, uh this was another one that people highly that highly recommended uh they love the book the rules though they kind of said that it may be a little swingy but you you can work with them once again these were deals these, these things at at um uh, at noble knight you know nine ten dollars a pop so and then with the discount on top of it uh, was well worth the price to to check these out. So set sail from the new world of horror. Behold, I give unto you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. Uh, 17th century America was a vast unknown land, peopled by cultures alien and savage to European sensibilities. All the mundane dangers this new world held paled in comparison with what lay unseen. Glimpses captured out only only out of the corner of your eye. The old myth and legends were not meant to entertain, but to warn. Beware what dwells beyond you, or you will not live to regret it. Uh, Witch Hunter is a role-playing game of swashbuckling adventure and colonial horror set in a land much like our own 17th century, designed to accentuate the telling of, of a gripping story. Uh, uses an elegant and robust system that provides you with everything you need to bring the Witch Hunter world to life. So, yeah. Yeah. So, looks, this one looks to be going to be a bit more of a read than the others but uh you know it's got a lot to cover in a single book whereas you know others seem to be more uh you know supplements so to speak all right so that is witch hunter and then finally we have and before you say anything i know it's gurps uh gurps horror um that um um huh okay i don't think this is the one that i ordered um does not, yeah. So, so yeah. Um, GURPS. <laughs> I've, um, I am not at that familiar with GURPS. I do have the most recent editions that I paged through. 
And granted, this is a, a GURP supplement, but my intention when I when I picked this up was not necessarily to run a GURPS horror setting or scenario, uh, but um, the one that I was looking for was the one that featured Ken Height, and primarily wanted to get it because of the advice that was within this book on how to run a good um, you know horror game, horror setting, horror campaign, whatever the case may be, and likewise to kind of come into um, uh, to be a bit more prepared for what we have coming up on Titter Pigs is um, hopefully sometime soon in the coming days, we are actually going to have Ken, Ken Hyde on for a talk. Um, and, you know, granted, I'm well familiar with Ken Hyde, as most people, uh, you know, might be, uh, and somewhat familiar with, with some of his works. But, you know, as, you know, someone who likes to be courteous to their guests, you know, don't want to go in cold and would like to be a little bit prepared, uh, you know, should certain topics, you know, come up or certain things come up. And, uh, you know, may be able to divulge some information that, uh, you know, may want to bring up in conversation. And so uh, that's why I, I ordered that one. But uh, it looks like they sent the wrong one. But, you know, simple mistake. I mean, when looking at the covers of these books, they pretty much seem might look identical. And uh, it's Noble Knight, so I'm sure there's not going to be any issue re replacing it. Uh, but, um, yeah, if I was just looking for a supplement for GURPS, uh, you know, it being horror probably, you know, would be okay with it. But, uh, um, I had ulterior motives for getting this particular one. Uh, so we'll see about correcting that, you know, right away, but, uh, no big deal. Uh, it's not the end of the world. So, um, there's, you know, other, I can go ahead and order it and I'm sure it'll get back out here quickly and, uh, can peruse it, you know, uh, at my leisure. So there we go. Um, yeah, a quick and easy, uh, unboxing to be fair. Uh, it's used, some of these usually run an hour, uh, as I prattle on and on and give my opinion and do a more deeper dive into these things. But, uh, you know, with the amount of books here, I wanted to keep it kind of short and simple. Um, so most of these books, um, are still available on drive through, uh, it being, you know, close to the, you know, the horror season, uh, even though it's been a, a hundred and, you know, 50 billion degrees in California, we are on the precipice of, you know, October and heading into Halloween and the, the cable knit sweaters are slowly be taken out of the closet and the uh, pumpkin spice has begun to flow. So, um, yeah, you know, there's, you know, get out, you know, if, if, if you're able to see if you can supplement your, uh, um, you know, your, your horror games, your up and coming horror games with, uh, uh with some new additions and, uh, likewise the sale that they have on right now, and I'm not sponsored by a noble knight, but I just, you know, like to let people know in case they aren't aware is still going on, I believe, and the discount is on top of a discount. So if you're looking for something specific, and you know it's worth taking a look, because you know you never know. I mean, eight bucks, uh, you know, for for something that uh, you know is going to provide a, a world of information. Each each one of these. Uh, so there you go. Um, yeah. So I'm Scott. This has been a, another completely unprofessional unboxing. Thank you for tuning in, and also you know thank you all for following along. Uh, with the uh, with the ridiculous uh, um, recommended RPG a day month, and also thank you so much for the the feedback on uh, pull from the shelf uh, with uh, Dragon Warriors, uh, another book that I would highly recommend you go out and, and check out. And uh, also uh, keep your ear up for uh, Titter Pigs. Uh, we have a new episode out uh, where Keith and I discuss um, some of our you know concerns regarding the path that one D and D is taking. Not not the play test, but more the company as a whole. So it's worth a listen, uh, you know, and chime in with, with your comments on that. And uh, obviously we've got other things coming up. So thank you so much for watching and look for more polls from the shelf and look for more unboxings and definitely look for more, um, you know, recommend an RPG a day month to see if I actually have enough to fill in <laughs> the remaining aspect of the month. Halfway there. Uh, hopefully I don't snap. Uh, you've already saw my little personal guide to uh, to GM preparation in there because uh, I you know had no time and almost ran out. But uh, here I go prattling on again, making what should have ended you know five minutes ago. So everyone, take care. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. And there's that button again. Come on, there we go. All right, take care.